Hello, everybody. Dr. Bill Crawford here, psychologist, speaker, author, host of two PBS specials, here today to bring you another short video that is designed to help you bring more clarity, confidence, and creativity to everything you do. Today, I want to talk about the process of creation. Now, I know it's a big subject, but what I'm really talking about is how we create our experience of life on a moment-to-moment, -moment, day day-to-day basis. How we make decisions how we move toward certain things and or away from others. Because I think most people think about the process of creation this way. We have a thought, we kind of get inspired by that thought, or we have an emotion around that thought, and then that emotion then fuels certain behavior. And that works fine when the thought and or the emotion is congruent with the kind of life we want to create. What happens when the emotion is depression, or the emotion is lethargy, or the thought is, oh, you know, nothing can really make a difference, nothing can be done. When that's the case, we have to be full of care, careful about whether or not we follow that thought. Because if we do, what we will do is generally nothing. And what I want to point out is that doing nothing is a behavior. It validates a belief. See, in my opinion, all behavior validates some belief. So if we have a fear that nothing can be done, and therefore we do nothing, we validate that fear, and we feel worse. And we have to wait until the fear gets so bad, or the lethargy becomes so problematic, that it forces us to do something. But that still has us being ruled by fear. What I suggest we do is to recognize that sometimes we have thoughts and or emotions that just are there based on past experiences. We haven't chosen them on purpose. They are not necessarily ones we would recommend to someone we love, but they are there. If we follow them or if we need them to change before we can do anything, we will again be ruled by those old fearful behaviors and emotions. What I suggest we do is to recognize, okay, there is probably a behavior that runs counter to this fearful belief. If I get out and do something, the potential is I will feel better. And the reason is because just getting out and doing something, doing some new behavior validates a new belief. It's one of the reasons when I'm encouraging people who find themselves in an interpersonal situation and they're angry and they're frustrated and they don't know what to do, I encourage them to actually leave that interpersonal situation for a moment. Go to the bathroom, go to another room, take a short walk, because that behavior says, I am not trapped in this situation and I can make choices. And that choice and that behavior validates a new belief about my own ability to influence the quality of my life. So if sometimes you're finding that needing to have a thought and an emotion before you do a behavior isn't serving you, try reversing the process of creation. Try putting the behavior first and notice how that behavior can then begin to validate new beliefs can help you actually feel better and begin to make a difference in how you think about yourself in the world, the kind of choices you have. Sometimes the Nike swish of just do it <laughs> is the best medicine when we are feeling lethargic. Because as I talk about today in my quote, the problem with lethargy is doing nothing often validates the fear that nothing can be done. So if that is not a fear you want running your life, if that's not a belief you would recommend to someone you love, I encourage you to try reversing that process of creation. Go do something that you would recommend to someone you love that has the potential to bring joy and meaning into your life and allow that behavior to then spark that new thought, validate that new thought, spark that new emotion, and validate that new emotion. It's one more way we can become more influential in our lives versus just being ruled by all of those old beliefs and emotions and experiences from the past. I hope you found this valuable. I try to keep these videos short. Here is to you bringing more clarity, confidence, and creativity to everything you do. And I'm going to encourage you to go out and try a new and more purposeful behavior.